Last week, yet another person who'll never be president decided to run for president. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio announced his bid. I intend to break the mold, and I intend to make history, and I intend to win. Bringing the total number of Democrats to 24. 24 Democrats have announced their 2020 campaign. That's madness! To put that in context, if you laid all 24 candidates on the ground end-to-end, -end, Bernie Sanders still wouldn't be able to get up. <laughs> I want to get up. I do. But the 1%, they only get up. The rest of us stay down. <laughs> How am I supposed to keep track of everyone? I mean, of course, there's, there's Bernie Sanders, uh, Joe Biden, the gay guy, bald Obama, lady Obama, white Obama... <laughs> The lady that you have to call auntie, even though she's not your aunt, she's just your mum's friend. <laughs> Me and your mother met at Woodstock. We both blew Hendrix. <laughs> you were in your mother's belly. Now, be a dear and refill my wine glass. <laughs> anyway, what I'm saying is there's a lot of candidates. <laughs> Everyone knows the front runners. Then there's a whole tier of hopefuls struggling to get traction, like Pete Booty Judge. <laughs> yeah. He seems nice, but his political experience is limited to being mayor of South Bend, Indiana. I'm going to say no mayors for president. What kind of relevant experience does he bring to the table? You can't challenge Kim Jong-un to a pie-eating contest. <laughs> because Kim will win. <laughs> that guy loves pies. For lesser-known candidates, politics, as usual, just isn't good enough. These days, you've got to be cool and charismatic and streaming your every move, like Beto O'Rourke. All right, everybody share this. Beto O'Rourke is on a skateboard in a Whataburger parking lot. I don't know if it gets more Beto. you got to share this. That's fresh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, but a skater who has a nickname should not be president. Your name is Robert Francis O'Rourke and you're almost 50. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear a president describe the budget as gnarly whilst practising kickflips at the 7-Eleven. <laughs> Go down the list a little bit more and you get into the real no-names. Just a sea of unknown white men. You know, Michael Bennett, Steve Bullock, uh, John Hickenlooper. <laughs> what can you say about John Hickenlooper other than who? <laughs> and... and... That's not a real name. <laughs> I'm not even sure which of these people is John Hickenlooper. <laughs> so I'm just going to call the whole group Hickenloopers. <laughs> these are the faces that appear if you search stock photo site for the word guy. <laughs> and then you get the candidates who might not even be aware they're running for president, like former Alaska Senator Mike Gravel who is 89 years old and hasn't held office since 1981. <laughs> Check out his official campaign video, <laughs> which features him hobbling down to a pond and throwing a rock. Throw it, Mike! Throw it! <laughs> Here it is. Mike Gravel. <laughs> Tough on water. It's almost like the people running Mike Gravel's campaign are a couple of teenagers who just think it's funny to make an old man do stuff. This is the tweet that we're, that we're, that we're gonna send out, right? So just turn to the camera and just say, Drill's got nothing on me, okay? Drill's? Drill's got nothing on me. What's Drill's? Just Drill. So, drill is explain it after, I'll explain it afterwards. And Drill's got nothing on me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so perfect. Poor man has been kidnapped by teens. <laughs> if you see Mike Gravel, please return him to his favourite bench. <laughs> the pigeons are worried. <laughs> no, look, I, I, I would like to personally apologise. We shouldn't have done that joke considering the passing of Mike Gravel. No, no, he's... he's well, he might be dead. We don't know. There's just a good chance he could have died during that joke. <laughs> the truth is there's only really one thing that people want in a Democratic candidate. In a recent Monmouth University poll, 56% said they would prefer a candidate with a good chance of beating Trump, even if they disagreed with that candidate on most issues. In the end, it doesn't matter if it's Biden or Warren or any one of these people. Next November, the choice is going to be Trump versus the person who is not Trump. That's it. <laughs> Honestly, I'd vote for a can of soup over Trump if it means I have to stop paying attention to the fucking news.
Hey, did you hear what President Chunky Beef did on healthcare? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> he did nothing. He soup. <laughs> but I believe we can do better than soup. <laughs> so he needs someone to get excited about. So let's build the perfect 2020 Democratic candidate. What would that person look like? Well, Democrats need a win, so I'd probably be a white man, although Obama was black and Hillary won the popular vote, so they should also be a black woman who, who thinks like a white man. <laughs> like, like she's, she's black but shops at Tommy Bahama. <laughs> or maybe it's a white man who thinks like a black woman. Like, picture like a white executive type, but he has very long bedazzled nails. <laughs> Also, everyone says they want a candidate they could have a beer with. So, a functional alcoholic. <laughs> Relatable. Now, basic physical characteristic. Uh, well, Joe Biden's smile is the best thing about Joe. Also, the name Joe. That's a good, solid American name, Joe. Everyone loves a Joe. Good old Joe. <laughs> but not everyone loves Joe's gropiness. So, we need the candidate who's not too grabby. So, give them the asexuality of, let's say, uh, John Hickenlooper. <laughs> and... <laughs> but with a dollop of Mayor Pete's gayness, just so we're being inclusive. <laughs> Next, we'll add a sprinkling of religion. Oh, and they have to be a veteran, right? So let's remove a body part that they lost in the war. Uh, which war, which body part, doesn't matter. Um, OK, let's have a look and see what we've got. Universal health care. So, there it is. Vote for that. <laughs> I'm off for a wank. <laughs>